Oh, good morning, you guys. How are you all doing? Woo. Yeah, we're doing well. Woohoo! This is a wonderful turnout this morning. Would you guys mind standing with me? Um, I first off just want to say that I'm so excited because today we have Leanne and Peter doing worship with us today. Um, and they're just incredible leaders at DCF and we're just so excited to have them this morning. But um, yeah, I just want to let all of you know that if you don't know already, we have all of the lyrics for these worship songs on our Instagram page. And so if you guys would like to pull out your phones right now, um, if that would help you feel more comfortable um, to have the lyrics right in front of you, it's in our bio at Bayside Davis on the link tree. So feel free to pull those up. There's no judgment if your phones are out. And let's head into worship this morning. <laughs> Who am I that the highest king would welcome? I was lost, but he brought me and all his love for me. All his love Let your breath, let 
Guys, so much. Welcome, Bayside Davis. How are you guys doing? That was kind of quiet. Welcome, Bayside Davis. How are you guys doing? So great to see you guys. I am Wesley. This is Nathan. Say hi, Nathan. What's up? You're looking good with What's that up? new What's haircut. Up? Last oh, thank night. You, thank you. Yes, my wife is a professional haircut person. Uh, this is the third time she's cut my hair, and look at it. You know, the, you know what I'm saying? So if they, if they don't know who your wife is, let them know. Who's oh, your wife? My wife is right there, Heidi. She is one of the worship leaders. Give her some love. Yes, she's amazing. Looking good, Nathan. Hey, everyone, you guys can have a seat for a minute. We've got a bunch of announcements for you as fall is kicking off. We are so glad that you're here this Sunday. Sunday in the park, you actually can breathe today and see the sky. It's a miracle, right? Amazing. Um, so a number of things. First of all, if you're a kid here, we have brand new kids packs for October with new memory verses. Yes, right there. So if you haven't got your new kids pack, grab it. Also, there's some fun dress up stuff for each Sunday of the month on there, like fun socks, crazy hair day. So make sure to check it out. If you're a parent, the first sheet on the left hand side has all the rundown for this month, all the fun things we're doing for this month. We love kids and everyone said, amen. Amen. Second, um, we are reading through a book of the Bible as a church community every month. And in the month of October, we're reading through Ephesians. 
Ephesians is a phenomenal book. And basically, you can go at your own speed. You can read a half a chapter a day, a full chapter a day, and then just keep going over and over Ephesians for an entire month. And watch what God does in your life as you start to read Scripture every single day. Uh, another thing that's happening brand new is we're about to launch a new season of community groups starting October 12th. And uh, they basically are focused on discipling our community in relationships. We're all living through 2020 and we all have challenges around Corona and relationships. And we're asking ourselves, how do we follow Jesus in the midst of this in human relationships, right? Uh, raise your hand if any relationship has been challenging in 2020, right? Yes, all of us would raise our hands. So basically here it is. We have uh, three books that, that uh, each group's gonna pick one of three books. One is on parenting from Phil and Diane Comer. It's called Intentional Parenting, Raising Ch uh, Passionate Jesus Followers. It basically goes through every phase of a child's development and how to disciple them around following Jesus long-term. It's the best parenting book I've ever read. And Phil and Diane Comer, who are legends in the Northwest, are my mentors, so it's a phenomenal book. Uh, the second book a group can pick is Marriage by Tim Keller. Uh, Tim Keller is one of the most brilliant writers and thinkers in modern Christian history, and his book on marriage is the best of the best. And then the third, is by my friend John Mark Comer. It's called Loveology. It's about dating and singleness and sex and what it means to be male and female. Uh, it's a phenomenal book. If you don't know John Mark Comer, he's one of the leading thinkers uh, amongst young Christian leaders in America today. And so uh, I bet you the college group age is going to be sure, doing sure. that book for sure. So. We are really excited for that. We want you to sign up. I think you text, uh, Kathleen, is it text groups? Yes. Text groups to 56316 if you want to sign up. Groups to 56316. Or if you forget that, you can email us davis at baysideonline.com. Davis at baysideonline.com. And uh, we would love for you to sign up. Get the signups in this week. And we can't wait to launch them next week. And speaking of next week, we have some exciting news for you. So if you're like kind of looking at your phone and going like, oh, I'm not paying attention. I know who you are. I grew up in church. I did the same thing. <laughs> All right. You're going to want to pay attention to this right here. Next Sunday, we are pushing our service back an hour. Ooh. Yes. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. From Which now on. Which means you guys get to sleep in. For another, and us, I guess, too, right? Yeah, you know, maybe. Uh, I didn't get in a, a for sure from Wesley. I think uh, so. But that's okay, that's okay. You guys at least get to sleep in another hour. Uh, <laughs> but next, sorry, Teddy, and this laughing. is for good. This I is our new up. service time, right? Yeah. Yes, new service time, 10 a.m. But if you're a college student, listen up, college students. Next Sunday at 9.30, we have a special gift for you. We know that you guys just started classes last Wednesday, and so we thought we want to welcome some college students, but we're going to push it back one Sunday so as people are getting like settled in, they're ready for a nice treat. So we're gathering at 9:30 right here, and then college. you'll be able to help us like yeah. welcome people as they come in. Isn't that amazing? All these college students invite your friends to that. We want to make sure that every college student in Davis is welcome to Davis and welcome to church, right? Yep. We want everybody to feel like they belong. So you guys can partner with us in that. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to, oh yeah, giving. Um, another way to partner with us uh, is to give to our church. We truly believe that this is a mutual partnership. You guys give to us just as much as we give to you. We love you guys and we know that you love this church home and we're a family. So if you would like to give and partner with us, there are two ways to do that. The first one, is to run over to the table where Cassidy is at. Cassidy, go ahead and raise the, oh, that's the bucket right there. So that's Cassidy and that's the bucket. If you haven't met Cassidy, meet her, she's amazing. That's the giving bucket. If you're uh, in this century and you don't carry cash, the other way you can do that is text the word give to 56316. Text the word give to 56316. We love you guys. Amen. And just, just so you guys know, this week we gave $15,000 away to fire victims 
Um, so we are so glad to be unleashing compassion um, to those who are hurting right now. Um, I wanted to share a quick update with you. Um, we want to keep you informed of what's happening around the city and opening and reopening in our church. Uh, so as many of you know, some of you read the news, some of you don't, that's okay. I'll update you right now. We went from purple to red. So we're in the, we're in the phase red now uh, in Yolo County as far as reopening and all the guidelines towards reopening. We contacted the city once that decision was made saying, hey, the building we meet in is a city building. Um, and we just basically asked them, is that gonna be open? And their response was, there's no plan to open any of these buildings until after December 31st. So um, I, I just wanna keep you guys informed. If anything changes around that, uh, we'll let you know. We're gonna be in the park as long as we can. And then um, Bayside Global um, has uh, invested in our church with a ton of equipment where we're they're putting in a studio in our office so we can start recording stuff locally uh, for our online community and if we happen to do like a month and a half or two months of online when it gets really cold and we can't meet in a building we're going to be doing that all out of our local office all that stuff is being purchased and shipped as we speak and so we're super blessed and thankful for that that we can give a, a, a local expression to what we're doing in the midst of a really, really challenging season. So continue to pray for us, continue to pray for our city. Um, we are glad for whatever. We just want to make sure that you know that the church is not defined by a building. The church is us. We are the church. So wherever we're meeting, whether it's here in the park and we're freezing cold in November or we're online uh, sitting around hot chocolate and breakfast in our pajamas, the church is showing up on Sundays. Amen. Amen. Let's uh, stand and continue to worship. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Jesus, the name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever save Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe live for you live for you it's holy there is no one like you there is none beside you open up my eyes in wonder show me who you are and fill me with your heart
be around us so we can build a firm foundation on Jesus. He is trustworthy. He is faithful. I just love that truth and that we can sing that over our lives this morning. Uh, I am so excited for us to dive into this, this next part of our sermon series. And so before we do that, though, I would love it if we could all just say hello to a neighbor. Take these next two minutes, say hello, socially distance, of course, but um, say hello to the person next to you. And um, once you're done, you may be seated. <laughs> 